Well, well, well. Welcome to Satisfactory, the game about being thrown onto a random planet and exploited by the government. As the starting screen says here, the main goal of this game is to mine natural resources and automate the entire system to make products and send it back to... Earth? I'm assuming? I don't really know the whole lore. Well, the lady gives her whole spiel and I'm released onto this random planet. Like last time, I've never played this game before and this is my first attempt. So, the first 10 hours will be the first 10 hours of a noob, so be prepared. I'm given a scanner so I can scan auras all around the world, and I have to take apart my spaceship so I can build the hub. I find Lizard Doggo and I fondle him until he becomes my friend. Well, first things first, gotta mine some iron ore and uh, this plant explodes into a bunch of flies that attack me. I thought this game was going to be a little bit more peaceful. With the supplies I got from my spaceship, I had to build the hub. I found a good spot for it and put it down. Honestly, this game is pretty confusing, so I'll explain things on the way. For the first part of the game, the hub terminal is really the only thing you're focused on. Use materials to upgrade it and try to get the best hub you can. When you upgrade the hub, not only does it make it look cooler, but you also unlock new crafting recipes. See, this upgrade right here gave my hub walls and allowed me to build the equipment workshop. At the equipment workshop, you build things like the portable miner. So I did just that. I got the materials to build a portable miner and I put it on the iron mine right behind my base. This thing is pretty sick so I left in the entire animation of it starting up. <clears throat> Continuing on I found another mine but of course I had to take care of some flies first. Kill all the flies and ooh this one's copper. I took the copper ore and made it a copper ingot to make it to wire made it to cable and tried to place a power pole but what was I powering? I like the copper more, so I put the portable miner on that one instead. Now listen to this scary shit. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Comply. I thought it was my schizophrenia acting up, but it was a part of the game. She wanted me to collect this Mercer, Sophia, or whatever, but whatever. I went home and upgraded the hub. Now I know why people really play this game. That sound was beautiful. Whatever, I needed some limestone for concrete, but I saw this fool standing straight up. How was he doing that? I think I got pretty lucky here finding the limestone. I took it home and made the concrete that I needed. I was pretty obsessed with this power pole. I really wanted to get it working, but I had no idea what I was doing. I was really just experimenting the first hour. I just placed a smelter for no reason. You know, it's whatever. Give me some time, I'll catch on. To conclude hour one, I started the last hub upgrade of tier zero. Really? Well, hour two starts, and this is where my friend Justin Fied pops in. After hour one, I didn't think I liked the game very much, and I was gonna refund it, but Justin wanted to join me and show me a few things to hopefully get me on track. In person. Wait, but like play dead play. ass, like you mad thick, but like. Uh, oh, you think you just you just think you just run this shit? I like those yep, plants. I no, I like those. You like them? You like them? They're yes. fucking gone. Okay, so Justin helped me with the last hub upgrade of tier zero, and look what I unlocked. A rocket ship. So now I put the supplies and crafted goods into the rocket ship and send it into space in return for crafting recipes. This part's also confusing and it goes really fast, but right here I'm hooking up electricity to my miner Mark 1. Justin placed that down so I don't really have the footage for it, but obviously the miner mines the ores and the ores get sent to the smelter through a conveyor belt and the smelter sends it to the constructor and the constructor makes like the iron plates and rods. Whew, hopefully that made sense. It probably didn't, but I try to make my own on the copper mine and obviously I fucked up because Justin did the other one for me and I'm an idiot so I had to redo the whole thing but I did and eventually I got it working. Duke. You had you ain't angle like this. That was angle like this. Oh that's only for the copper. That's only for the copper. Oh going. my god. <laughs> yeah so I accidentally deleted the hub but thankfully they let me put that shit back. I finally built a big storage container and hoped that I could build a conveyor belt all the way back to the copper mines. But there was no time for that. The logistics upgrade was done and I got to push the big red button that sent all this stuff into space. I don't really remember what I got from the logistics upgrade. I think it was the merger. So I built the conveyor belt all the way back to the copper mines and here's the merger that merges all the conveyor belts into one going into the storage container. I needed to automate the concrete making process too so I placed a miner on the limestone and connected it all back to electricity. Boom 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 we're right at hour 3 and I made a conveyor belt from the limestone all the way back to my storage unit. And we put another miner on the iron mine right behind my house and I got to push the red, big big red button for another milestone. I started exploring the island more and I found this crash site that needed 30 mega watts of power so I built a biomass burner and connected it to open it up and it just had a hard drive inside. Here I found a blue slug and uh there's so much explaining to do. You'll see me pick up these things called the blue power slugs and basically on this imaginary universe they can overclock your machines 
And if you don't know what overclocking is, read a fucking book. Oh, and one more thing. The summer sloops or the Mercer spheres or whatever, I just have to pick those up because that bitch yells in my head to do so. So anyways, I found my lizard doggo and while I was on that big long adventure, I was picking up leaves and I can turn those leaves into biomass, which turns them into solid biofuel, which is what I use to burn the biomass burners. Yeah, so I made some and then I had to make these things called the reinforced iron plates for the next milestone. And so I did that and just impressed the big red button for me and I was angry. Oh, you're gonna love this one. Why? We need to start another <laughs> um, milestone. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just buy another game. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, I was thinking of giving up, but I'm no bitch. And I got attacked by this spider, so that made me log off. Oh lord, I know. So, a little bit more explaining. I, I accidentally forgot to record the start of hour 4, but I really didn't do much. I just set up an iron farm that was also very close to my base. And yeah, so sorry. Uh, hour 4 starts off and I finish another milestone, so I get to push the big red button again. And I had to choose what the next milestone would be, and obviously I chose the jump pad and slumming launcher. I saw something shiny in the lake, so I went and checked it out, and it was just another blue power slug. I found another crash site, but this one actually needed 21 rotors, and the same thing that I needed for my milestone. And I had to make some improvements to my factory to be able to make those so right here I wanted to place another storage container but my dumbass didn't know how to line it up correctly with the fucking conveyor belt so I had to flip it sideways that's what I thought was best but after I figured all that shit out I started upgrading all the conveyor belts close to my base to mark 2 that basically just means they move faster now to make the rotors and the reinforced iron plates, I needed something called an assembler. An assembler basically takes the products from the other two iron constructors and merges them into one machine that builds the rotors and reinforced plates and stuff. I got it all set up and got the assembler making rotors. Next up was energy renovations. Basically, you can't have too many things connected to one biomass burner, so I was breaking the fuse, so I had to set up more biomass burners and this would solve the problem. I didn't anticipate how hard this game would be without Justin. I mean, just look at this. Hi, my name is ah! Instead, I'm 17 oh! years old. I am very similar to you. Did I mention to you that I'm ah! of girls pushed me down as soon? Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. But eventually, I did get the assembler working, and yeah, I was making it make reinforced iron plates, set of rotors. So I handmade the rotors. But I found out that I had another milestone that was easier to complete. So I just clicked on that one and launched the rocket. The rest of hour 4 was spent AFK. At the beginning of hour 5 I built a space elevator. And the space elevator... Um... I don't know what it does actually. But who cares, I got a Mercer for And I fought off this tiny little elephant thing. My reward for killing it was a blue power slug. I filled up all my biomass burners with fuel and this hour Justin was joining me again. He showed me how to use the power slugs in my assembler and he made the MAM. Which is basically a research station. And I found out you could make a chainsaw to cut down wood for biomass. This is what a machine looks like, power slug. You see that little light? It's like blue. Yeah, who cares? Anyway, I got all the materials I needed for the chainsaw and went at it. I started cutting down hella trees so I can get biomass. I collected this summer sloop while eating nuts. <laughs> and spent a fuck ton of time making solid biofuel. I refueled all my biomass burners, and while I was doing all that, Justin made these things called smart plates for me, so I could put them in the space elevator. And I loaded them up to epic music, because I was watching a movie in the background. Yeah, super epic. But anyway, I needed to pick a new milestone, and coal power was the one I wanted because I was tired of dealing with the biomass burners. I got the assembler making what it needed, and I assembled the plans to make another mine. But psych, it wasn't for coal. I kind of needed Justin for that because I had no idea what I was doing. So I looked for some iron and started another iron mine that was like... 800 meters from my base. I got all the stuff I needed to put down and it took me an insane amount of time to make the conveyor belt all the way back to my base. And I made a merger because there was actually three iron mines there, not just one. I forgot to hook it up to power so I had to run all the way back and make a biomass burner and I hooked it up to power and it was all good and working. Bullshit. I made the copper start making copper sheets because the next few milestones called for it. And by the time I was done finishing all that stuff, the next milestone was ready. So I put in the stuff and hit the big red button. I made preparations for when Justin got on to show me how to work the coal stuff. In the meantime, I added another minor smelter thing to my iron pit, and I got pretty mad that the jump pad required power. Oh, the jump pad needs power? Mm-hmm. What a joke! 
going. Hour 7 started off with me filling some more biomass burners and Justin was joining me this hour because he was teaching me how to do the coal energy stuff and I was doing a little bit of trolling. <laughs> Don't touch my bucket. <laughs> you look so goofy. When yeah, but all jokes aside, I got the miners down on the coal mines and I got called an idiot for like an hour. You're a dumbass. dumbass. You are. A dumbass. You're a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, okay. Then me and Justin had to race all the way back home because we needed more iron plates for the conveyor belt. And I forgot this game had fall damage, so... But it's all good. When they respond to me, I found out I had a sick-ass PC and I started playing Productive Packer Deluxe. Uh, that shit was honestly ass, I hated that. Yeah, so not much was done in hour 7, but hour 8 we started building the conveyor belt all the way back to the water. Because for the coal mines, you need a water extractor and it's a whole ordeal. And, uh, Justin kinda had me figure it out on my own. As like, he's trying to teach me a lesson. That was pretty fucked up, honestly. <laughs> Wrong way! <laughs> you have to go like that. No! Look at the rare. No, we don't need to! We don't need to! Get this back out of here! <laughs> no, not that one! <laughs> that one back. What are you talking about? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> no, you do not got it. <laughs> Eventually, I did get the water extractor down right, and I wanted to learn how to do the rest on my own, so Justin just stood by and proctored me. Maybe if you flip it the other way, though. <laughs> nope! Uh, the other, uh, another 90 degrees. <laughs> Eventually, we did get the coal generators down, three to be exact, and the next step was making the conveyor belts go into them. And while I was doing that, the water extractor actually needs a jump start from a biomass burner, so I put one down and connected it to get it running. And during this whole learning process, of course, Justin's building a massive penis in the sky, which I'm okay with, it's just cosmic. It do got the energy now! It working? It do got the energy now! Look, look. I'm gonna go connect this to the other iron mine so that's what i did i was really tired of biomass burners so i connected everything i could back to the coal generators and god that was a great feeling to finish off the hour we started working towards the next milestone hour nine starts and yes got the next milestone which was vehicle transport and that unlocked the tractor or as i called it here the twack door and <laughs> Tractor! Tractor! This is absolutely positive. I'm cranking. What the fuck? This is a tractor, not a walk climber. It says who? Oh, I don't know You're about You're about to find one. out. <laughs> oh, fuck! Now that I finally had a good supply of energy, I built the jump pad again, and... Oh! Minutes ago. Do I take damage? Oh! <laughs> Too lazy to build a jelly pad landing service or whatever, I just started working towards the next milestone, which was improved melee combat. And I'm all about action, so I was very excited for this. I unlocked something called the Xeno Basher, and I got my ass to work and got that shit crafted within the minute. So now that I have this awesome badass sword, I want to go kick some ass with it. Not without solving for the blue power slug, though. Now I could take out pretty much all enemies with relative ease. Nothing really scared me anymore, even those big ass spiders which I would soon go to slaughter. But for now, I embraced my Fortnite skills and kind of climbed around the map for a while, and I drove my tractor to the coast to see what was going on, and I found a summer sloop. Now heading into the 10th hour, obviously you can tell I was getting pretty lazy, and I didn't want to make any more upgrades to my base. I kind of just plateaued. So what I decided to do was just travel around the map and try to find as much cool shit as possible before my 10 hours was up. But I'll just take this time to thank you guys for watching and to give some general views on the game and what I thought of it. I'd say my favorite part was bee hopping, which you can do by sliding and jumping, especially on the conveyor belts. You go super fast. I know there's more weapons in this game. I wish I could have advanced to that point, but I think that's very far in the future. And it's not like there's very many enemies either. I mean, those little elephants are docile, so why would I hurt them? And I'm happy to say I did never hurt them. I never touched them once, so shout out to all my big fat elephants out there.
I'd like to say this game is very underrated. I know it's in a beta, technically, but damn, the game was beautiful. I mean, setting on this cliff is when I really realized it, and I kind of took it for granted. But I'd say if you're into, like, Minecraft, Terraria, games like that, this is definitely the game for you. My lousy 10 hours is definitely not do justice to this game. I'd say if you found anything in this game interesting, you should definitely buy it. You'll probably have a great time. And as you can see, my 10th hour just ended, and that concludes 10 hours in Satisfactory. Technically 11 here, I lost track of time and tend to do that in this game. But anyways, I'm SWAT TV. Thank you for watching and I'm out. Go, 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 go. And on the count of three.